Okay, Brian, we're first going to analyze your swing with the 8-iron, and we're going to begin at the impact position. Everything the ball does, the good, the bad, and the ugly, is a direct response to the club's position at impact. And the club's position at impact is a direct response to your position at impact. And everything you do prior to impact has the sole purpose of arriving at a great and fundamentally sound impact position. We're going to compare your swing to Grant Waite. A PGA Tour player and Tiger Woods said that he believed Grant Waite had one of the best swings in golf. First let's look at the position of the left arm and the shaft of the club. Now, I captured your swing just past impact. I've got Grant right at impact and and the only real difference is uh, your hands are a little bit further back, closer to your back leg than your front leg. Grant has a little bit more shaft lean. Grant has positioned the low point of his swing in front of the golf ball so he can hit down and take his dip it after the ball. You're starting to kind of flip under the ball with your right hand. I've drawn a line from the left foot, the center of the left foot, straight up, and you can see how Grant has moved his weight on top of his left foot. That red line is passing right through his belt buckle. Um, you are hanging back a little bit more than Grant. Um, Grant's position allows him to keep that low point in front of the golf ball at impact. Your position would uh, create tendencies for that low point to be either at the ball and, or even sometimes behind the ball. And that will cause both fat shots and thin shots. The most important requirement to hit a golf ball well is to keep the low point in front of the golf ball. The, there are two critical fundamentals to allow that to happen. Uh, one is have your weight forward on that left side. The average pro has 85% of their weight on their left foot at impact. And then the second thing is to get your hands in front of the ball at impact. Now let's look at your starting position, your setup, and to see what you're doing that may help you arrive at a good impact position. Grant has a uh, nice extension in his left arm as you do. Uh, he has his hands in front of the ball a little bit. Uh, in fact, you have your hands a little bit more in front of the ball, so that's very good. So you, you have set up uh, with your arm and your club to prepare for a good impact position. As you look at your weight distribution and your setup, uh, you can see how Grant has a little bit more weight on his left side than his right side. Uh, his head is closer to that, that red line on the, off his left leg you're set back a little bit more on your right leg. So Grant is, is setting more weight on his left side, probably 55%. So he's kind of in a little mini impact position at setup, whereas uh, you're going to have to move a lot more weight during your swing to get to that 85% point. One thing you could do at the setup uh, that would help a little bit is you'll notice that Grant has flared his left foot out toward the target a little bit. If you would just turn that foot a little bit, it will facilitate the weight shift to the left during the downswing. This is the three position of the backswing. This is when the left arm is parallel to the ground and you have a nice extension in your left arm, just like Grant does. The key difference in your backswing and Grant's backswing is that he anchors his weight off on that left leg and keeps it there as he rotates back. You can, you'll see how his head is still close to that red line, his left knee, his hip. He is staying on his left leg as he rotates back. Whereas you have shifted to the right, you're more on top of your back foot than you are your left foot. Your move to the right has shifted your low point to the right. So your low point of your swing now is behind the golf ball, which adds a complexity to your swing. And now uh, you're going to have to create more difficult timing to get your weight back in front of the golf ball at impact. Grant starts with the low point in front of the golf ball and during his swing he keeps the low point in front of the golf ball. To further illustrate how much you have moved to the right, uh, this is on the right is you at the setup and you can see where your head position is in terms of between the two red lines and how much you have swayed to the right with your head and upper body. Uh, in your backswing. This is you at the top of the backswing. You have a really good shoulder turn, um, but the, the real issue, uh, again, is just the weight shift is too far to the on the right side. 
This is the five position when the left arm is, on, is parallel to the ground on the downswing. Um, you have maintained a good angle in your left arm and shaft, so you've held the, you haven't cast uh, the club too much here. Uh, Grant is just a little bit further left, uh, driving to the left side, almost falling towards the target on the downswing. You have moved more to the left than you were at the top of the swing, but you still have a lot of movement to go to catch up to where Grant is. This is the sixth position. This is when the shaft is parallel to the ground on the downswing. Uh, Grant has his hands in front of his back foot. Uh, he has held that angle a little bit longer. Um, you're starting to cast a little bit, but not much. Uh, again, his, his weight at the sixth position, Grant has about almost his 85% point now, even before impact. He's really got uh, the center of his body on top of his left leg at this point. The other thing to observe in the sixth position is you can see how Grant has his right elbow trapped against his right side. It's, it's uh, literally closed. His armpit is closed down. And you're starting to see some separation uh, of your right arm to your right hip. That is an indication of, of casting. Uh, and, and you want to try to maintain a connection there. This particular fundamental will take care of itself once you learn to properly shift your weight to the left. Here you are in the eighth position. This is post impact uh, when the hands are about waist high. You've got a nice extension. You're off your back foot. You're on your left side. Your head is still down. All of these are very good uh, fundamentals uh, to this post impact position. Very good. Here you are in the ninth position. This is when the right arm is parallel to the ground. Your, your upper body position looks very similar to Grant. Good extension in your arms. Your elbows are close together. You've crossed your wrist, your head is still down, very good. The, some of the differences of your lower body is that Grant is starting to extend that left leg and stand taller, and uh, you are still kind of collapsing down through your knees. You have a lot more knee flex there. And this costs you some power. A lot of power comes from the extension of the left leg through impact. Here you are at the finish. Um, it's a really good finish. It's almost that pro classic finish, standing uh, facing the target uh, off your back foot. Uh, again, the, the key difference between you and Grant, and I would say to most pros, is that Grant is standing taller at the impact. He's really extended that left leg completely now, and uh, you still are uh, supporting your weight through through the knee joint as opposed to locking that knee and, and support it more in the hip joint. So in conclusion, uh, I see the, the number one fundamental you need to work on is the weight shift position uh, during the swing. We want to start with a little bit more weight on your left side and we want to learn how to take a backswing and coil um, without shifting to the right. The best place to work on that move is the, is the move from one to three. If you could get where you have a set up position and then you learn how to go to this three position where the left arm is parallel to the ground, the initial takeaway, learn how to move uh, to that position where you look more like Grant. Uh, once you've established the one to three sequence, then the rest of it will fall into place. Notice that Grant is pushing his knee flexing his left knee towards the camera. His left shoulder is going down to, on top of his foot. He's almost planting that left leg like a field goal kicker, getting ready to kick. So you want to plant and squeeze that leg down into the ground.